Can women be sexually active after menopause? What role does lubrication play in anal sex and how to choose the right lubricant? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, women can be sexually active after menopause. While they may experience changes in sexual function due to hormonal decline, many women continue to enjoy a satisfying sexual life during the stage. Lubrication plays a crucial role in anal sex by reducing friction and preventing injuries or discomfort. It's important to choose a high-quality water-based or silicone-based lubricant and apply it generously both to the anus and to the toy or penis for a more pleasurable and safe experience. In Brazil, specific sexual education programs have been developed to address HIV-AIDS prevention in indigenous and Afro-descendant communities, recognizing social and ethnic inequalities in sexual and reproductive health, Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to the maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Cared for skin. Healthy and well-cared-for skin is often considered attractive, reflecting personal care. Celebration of diversity. The Kama Sutra acknowledges the diversity of desires, preferences, and human bodies, fostering an inclusive attitude towards sexuality that values the uniqueness of each individual and relationship. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm, derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix. This type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. Cervical orgasm. Some women report experiencing cervical orgasms, which feel deeper and may last longer than clitoral orgasms. Challenging jealousy. Open relationships may require healthy management of jealousy and insecurity as couples must face the possibility of their loved ones having intimate encounters with others. Child access. Despite efforts to restrict access to pornography for minors, many children and adolescents still have access to online pornographic content, raising concerns about their sexual education and emotional well-being. Cinematic adaptations. Several films have been inspired by the Kama Sutra, exploring its teachings and visually representing its sexual positions in a stimulating manner. Clitoral size. The clitoris is an erectile organ containing over 8,000 nerve endings, but only a small part is externally visible. Most of the clitoris is located inside the body and extends to the base of the vulva. Clitoral stimulation. For many women, clitoral stimulation is essential for reaching orgasm. Foreplay can focus on gently stroking the clitoris, using sex toys designed for this area, or oral sex techniques. Co-infections. It is possible to contract more than one STD at the same time. For example, chlamydia and gonorrhea are commonly diagnosed together due to their similarity in transmission and symptoms. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Communication and trust. Foreplay is an ideal time to strengthen communication and trust between partners. Openly discussing desires, boundaries, and preferences can enhance the sexual experience and emotional connection. Community support. There are communities and support groups dedicated to open relationships where people can find guidance, resources, and camaraderie with others who share their lifestyle. Comprehensive sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education addresses a wide range of topics related to sexuality, including anatomy, reproduction, healthy relationships, consent, contraception, and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, with the aim of promoting healthy and safe sexuality. Confidence.
Confidence is a trait that many people find attractive. Women are often drawn to men who demonstrate self-assurance in themselves and their actions. Connection. Between sex and happiness, studies have shown that sexually active individuals tend to report higher levels of life satisfaction and overall happiness, although relationship quality and personal satisfaction also play a significant role. Continuous exploration. Open relationships can be dynamic and constantly evolving. Couples may find it helpful to review and adjust their agreements regularly as their desires, needs, and circumstances change. Control exercises. Control exercises, such as the stop-start technique, can help men learn to delay ejaculation and improve control over their sexual response. Cooking skills. Knowing how to cook and showing an interest in preparing delicious meals can be a pleasant surprise for many women. Couple use. Sex toys are not just for individual use. Many are designed to be used as a couple. This can include toys for mutual stimulation, such as vibrating rings or role-playing toys. Courses and workshops. Practical courses and workshops based on the Kama Sutra are offered, where couples can learn new sexual techniques and positions under the guidance of experts in the field. Creativity. Creativity and the ability to express oneself through art, music, or other creative forms can be attractive. Cultural differences. What is considered a fetish can vary across cultures. For example, in Japan, cosplay culture, dressing up as fictional characters, is widely accepted and can be a way to express sexual fantasies. Cultural differences in sex education. Cultural differences influence the sex education received by individuals, including messages about sexuality, sexual pleasure, and acceptable sexual practices. Cultural differences. The perception of what constitutes premature ejaculation may vary depending on culture and social norms. What is considered a problem in one culture may be accepted as normal in another. Cultural influence. Cultural attitudes towards sex and masculinity can influence the perception of premature ejaculation and men's willingness to seek professional help. Cultural taboos. Although attitudes towards sex toys are changing, cultural taboos still exist in many parts of the world. However, an increasing number of people are adopting an open and positive attitude toward their use. Curable and chronic STDs. Some STDs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, are curable with proper treatment, while others, such as HIV and genital herpes, are incurable and require long-term management. Customized positions. Many couples develop their own unique and customized sexual positions, tailored to their bodies, preferences, and levels of intimacy, allowing them to explore their sexuality in a more satisfying and rewarding way. Dedication. Time. Foreplay doesn't have to be rushed and can be enjoyed as an end in itself. Taking enough time to explore and enjoy each moment can lead to a more rewarding and satisfying sexual experience. Delayed orgasm. Some men may experience what is known as delayed orgasm, where they reach orgasm after a prolonged period of stimulation. It can be a satisfying experience for some, but frustrating for others. In countries like Iceland and Denmark, sexual education is included in the school curriculum from an early age, aiming to promote healthy relationships and prevent gender-based violence. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.